Will B.J. Hill, Evan McPherson, and Jamar Chase get extended before July 15th? I think Evan McPherson will be extended at some point this offseason. Yeah. I'll just I say no. July 15th is July 15th soon because they're, they're going to take a couple weeks off. They're going to come back. And then usually it's like August, like yeah. right before the season, usually in like the week or two before the season yeah. is when we see a lot of I, I guess the McF- I, out of those, I think the McPherson extension is obviously the most likely. Again, it's kind of similar to the Jamar, but just at a much less – important of a position to where it's like, Hey, you're good. We want you. We'll figure it out. Kind I of thing. I don't know if PJ like, Hill's coming back. I don't. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to bring say. that one up, but no, I, mean, we, 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 <laughs> no, I don't know. I think, look, he's 29. He's going to be 30. He is a quality rotation piece right now. Drafted two but, defensive linemen. Yeah. With drafting two defensive linemen and the market for D tackles being what it is yeah. recently. Like he could probably, it could be one of the, like, I, I talked about it with Cheeto a little bit. Where, mm-hmm. of course, he's coming off injury, but he has not earned much in his career to this yeah. point. And taking the best offer he can get yeah. would be advantageous to him. BJ Hill falls in that same boat yep. where he he got a nice little payday for the Bengals. Mm-hmm. But if he's looking for that one more payday, yeah. I don't think the Bengals yeah. are going to be. There. It just goes back to what we talked about earlier. It has to make sense for both sides. The Bengals mm-hmm. have pretty much never gone after free agents that are thirty or above. You know, so it's just it has to make sense for both sides, and it just not one that technically adds up. That doesn't mean exceptions won't be made, but again, we're going on the history. There's not too much that really lines up to say that'll get done. Right. Yeah. I, I definitely think Evan McPherson is going to be signed at yeah, some point. I, I, agree. I think it makes a lot of sense. He's one of the better kickers in the national football league. Uh, let's go to Michael Rolf, our good friend, Michael Rolf, who's in the comment section each and every single week. I appreciate the dedication. You're almost in here as much as I am. Uh, he says, what do you guys think Bengals will use their remaining cap space for Evan McPherson extension? Question mark, free agent vet cornerback, question mark, chase extension, question mark. I definitely could see a chase extension. I could see a McPherson extension. At this point, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see the Bengals bringing in a veteran cornerback. I think if you if the Bengals bring in any veteran cornerback, it'll be because someone went down. Um, I, I wish think, they would. <laughs> yeah, we, we we definitely have talked about at, at length. We both wish they we, we all wish that they would yeah. uh, bring in a veteran cornerback at some point because and Calais we, Campbell. We just feel good. I want Calais, Calais Campbell Calais on Campbell. my team. I love Calais Campbell. Man. I just want the man. Somebody's going to gonna sign him, and I, I I'll make a prediction. It's going right to be now. in the division. No, I think okay, it's going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. The Phil, I think it's Fletcher Cox retired. Yeah. And they always like to have that veteran Somebody. defensive tackle presence. I know that there's real oh, – this. Oh, I'm not expecting to do this insider bit here. But I do know there's real concern amongst Philadelphia Eagles with their two defensive tackles, Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis. They believe they have some maturing issues. They believe that they have some weight issues. And they think that that's why those guys run out of speed towards the end of the season. So they've been kind of uh, – Quietly shopping around. Not quietly shopping around, but loudly, just shopping loudly around. unhappy, I would say. <laughs> Tell them and basically get your shit sh- together and having veterans talk to them and hoping that they can get their stuff together yeah. because there is concerns about Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter's ability yeah. to stay healthy and be consistent and, throughout the entire season. Now, that's why you see them kind of fall off a cliff yeah. towards the end of the season. And, now, Jalen Carter was a rookie, but Jordan Davis, you'd expect him at this point to kind of get, get, get his crap in order. Hasn't necessarily. Yeah. So I think Calais Campbell, a veteran presence, a guy that's been around the league, a guy that has done it at a high level for quite some time, makes so much sense for the Philadelphia Eagles to bring in. And honestly, I think that would make them feel a little bit good. Clip it, archive it, save it Clip for later. Clip it, archive it. So if the Calais <laughs> Campbell is a Philadelphia Eagle, can come back to this video and say, hey, the Bengals insider guy said, you know, the Eagles uh, wouldn't be the only Eagles thing. I One thing that uh, I do think might be likely with that cap space, as mm-hmm. much as we might want them to sign a veteran cornerback mm-hmm. or a Calais Campbell, um, that could be room for the Jamar Chase extension where, hey, mm-hmm. if you get that extension done and you want to yeah. put some you want to put twenty million dollars of it, you've got twenty one in cap space right now. Mm-hmm. If you yeah. want to save five million of that for an emergency yeah. free agent, if you need it and say, hey, all right, let's just dump another 15 million into mm-hmm. Jamar Chase's um, his cap hit for this year, which I think is like nine yeah. million dollars or something like that. Yeah. Um, or is it? Yeah, nine and a half million dollars. So, yeah, if you want to dump. $15 million of his extension into this year. Yeah. That's something you can Which, use that cap space for. Absolutely. And I think that goes into kind of the timing of the Jamar chase contract that we talked about too, of Evan kind of saying it's going to be later. It's going to be later. And if it is later, I think there's more likelihood that just whatever they're like, okay, we got everything we need right now for the team. We feel comfortable. Let's get this deal done. You can have the rest of our cap space this year on top of it. And we'll just go from there. I think right. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah.